If you want to know how to counter Pyramid Head in Dead by Daylight, this is the video for you. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, this is our How to Counter Killer series in Dead by Daylight. If you want to check out the killers that we've done on this series, I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys. Okay, first things first, let me give you some information on Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head, also known as the Executioner in DVD, has a 4.6 meter per second movement speed. So by no means is this killer slow. But don't worry because his terror radius is 32 meters, meaning you will hear him coming. His power is called Rites of Judgment. This power allows him to put his sword through the ground and leave a trail as he's moving. When this power is activated, he's able to use his second ability. Punishment of the Damned. This is a long range attack that is able to hit survivors through obstacles like walls or pallets. Now the Rites of Judgment attack, meaning the trail that he leaves behind, has a secondary purpose. Any survivor that walks or runs through the trail will be afflicted with torment. And you can tell by the barbed wire around the survivor's icon. When Pyramid Head downs a survivor that's tormented, he's able to send them to the Cage of Atonement. So he doesn't actually have to pick them up and hook them like every other killer. Now looping Pyramid Head is actually not that complicated but it is very tricky to understand how to do it properly. The first way to evade his power is to fake a 180. Basically, you go one way and at the last second you turn around. This works very well as long as he keeps using Punishment of the Damned. If you're looping Pyramid Head around the pallet, do not drop the pallet while he's using his Punishment of the Damned because he will hit you mid-animation. Instead, keep going in circles, faking the pallet once in a while and always keep him guessing which direction you're going so he doesn't hit you with his power. If at any point you see him not activating his power, that's your chance to drop the pallet early and make a lot of space. Now some pyramid heads will try and injure you before activating their power. If that's the case, go ahead and greet the pallet as much as you can and drop it at the last second stunning them and that way you can last a lot longer in the chase against them. And again, if they don't break the pallet right away and they try to use their power, that's a great chance to waste more time for the killer. Keep them guessing which way you're going so that they keep missing their attack. And eventually when they do hit you, that's when you use that speed boost to get away from there to a safer location. For some reason, Pyramid Head players will try and get you with their power instead of hitting you with their basic attack. I'm really not sure if this is a pride thing, but it's definitely not efficient because sometimes they can hit you with a basic attack and take you down a lot faster. But like I said before, if this is the case, then you have a great opportunity to waste the killer's time while your survivor friends finish the generators. So in a way, a pyramid head that doesn't break pallets is actually a great plus for you as a survivor. So yes, if you're watching this video as a killer, go ahead and break the pallets, guys. It's a lot easier than having to try and use your attack every single time. One thing to understand about his range attack is that it only works on the ground. So he shouldn't be able to hit you while you're jumping from a great height. Now this is important to understand because there's a lot of maps that you can use to your advantage to counter pyramid head. If you're not very good at looping killers, a great perk to bring into matches is Windows of Opportunity. That way you know where vault locations are as well as pallets. As a survivor, you always have to be one step ahead of the killer. Meaning when you drop that pallet, when you vault the window, you already know which location or where you're going next to keep looping the killer. Remember that it's okay to drop pallets early against Pyramid Head so that you can make a lot of space. A map like the game is very good against Pyramid Head because there's a lot of holes in between pallets, meaning that he can't use his attack to try and hit you. He actually has to follow you, he has to chase you, and hit you with a basic attack if he wants to get you. Keep these looping tips in mind and eventually those Pyramid Heads are going to leave you alone. If you don't know this, you can actually crouch over Pyramid Head's trail and you won't be tormented by his effect. So if the Executioner hooks someone and puts a trail around them, you can crouch over that trail so that you won't be affected by it. But at the same time, be very careful when you're trying to unhook someone if the Executioner is around. Because with his power, he can actually hit you both at the same time. So yeah guys, that's the basics on how to counter Pyramid Head in Dead by Daylight. Remember, you can always drop a pallet early against Pyramid Head to make space, but if the killer doesn't break the pallet, use that to your advantage and waste as much of his time as possible. If you guys found this video helpful at all, all I ask for you is to please smash the like button for me and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. 
thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Shit. I'm about to go down. Vete a la fregada. Fuck you, pyramid head. Ho ho ho, he's respecting the pallet. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, pyramid head. Let's go. Sígame los buenos. I'm at the library. Whew. I'm about to go down, I think. <laughs> Dude, so many jukes. So many jukes. Turn on the TV and turn off the lights. We're playing dead by daylight tonight. You can be Myers or you can be Blight or you can use Dwight and try to survive.